Hi there. So, today we're going to talk about the four common types of traumatic brain injury. Number one, concussions being, you know, the most common type, uh, but usually mild and doesn't cause, you know, structural damage. Number two, penetrating uh, injury to the brain caused by an object uh, and enters the brain. Number three is anoxic. It's uh, an injury um, is caused by a lack of oxygen to the brain. And number four is diffuse, uh, axonal it's called, injury, similar to other types of brain injuries that begin with the brain, you know, shifting within the skull. So, uh, things like cerebral palsy, uh, concussions, and subdermal hematomas are all types of traumatic brain injuries, uh, TBI for short, I'll use to be quicker. So let's briefly review contusion versus concussion. Um, I think it's important to go over some of the causes and um, complications. So how are people with this um, and their loved ones navigating such a challenge in life? Uh, I have some valuable insight um, as well as some personal stories to briefly share with you for the purpose of us all gaining a deeper knowledge uh, on the impact, uh, the important and even sensitive facts of this topic too. Now, whether you are one who uh, experienced TBI or you are um, aware of someone um, who has had a head injury, um, hopefully this info can helpful be helpful Excuse me, to you having a better understanding overall. A concussion involves a severe head impact that can lead to a subdermal hematoma. Cerebral palsy can be caused by uh, usually a cerebral, excuse me, a subdermal hematoma as well that damages the brain basically. Both me and my spouse have suffered um, a subdermal hematoma. Uh, uh, he at birth developing cerebral palsy as a result, and myself both as a child and then again as an adult. Uh, subdermal hematomas occur when uh, the tiny veins, basically, between the brain's membranes, you know, leak blood after a, um, or tissue, and cause brain damage, actually. So traumatic brain injury can be permanently disability, uh, disabling, excuse me, or fatal. Sorry, I can't get my words out. Um, and they do and can uh, coexist. So abnormalities formed in the womb are one way problems can begin and continue to be experienced throughout life. However, the brain abnormalities that occur because of trauma causing uh, impact and then its lasting effects are what we are reviewing today. For starters, I will connect the dots here because uh, my spouse and I, having both experienced TBI, uh, I think it genuinely helps us understand each other in a, a profound way even, uh, more than like the physical or the emotional, I would say, like subconscious even. Um, a lot of things we see or know to be the same, um, or at least already expect to know even what the other would say or how maybe it would make them feel or affect them because of the similarities even in our makeup. Um, it also took us coming together to learn that substances actually impact our TBI in a negative way. So now cerebral palsy is the first in a group of disorders that affect a person's movement and muscle tone um, and are the most common to have motor disability in childhood. Uh, CP I'll use for short, is caused and um, develops in about 3 out of 1,000 births. Symptoms of CP vary among people and over time, but things like poor coordination, uh, stiff muscles or weak muscles, uh, tremors, seizures, uh, you know, delays, reaching developmental milestones, uh, you know, seeming too stiff, you know, floppy or weak, fidgety, jerky, uh, clumsy, I would add, even random or uncontrolled uh, walk, like walking on tiptoes, things like that. Um, other problems that can occur with CP include swallowing problems, things like speech, you know, hearing, vision, even learning problems. Um, 
CP isn't curable, but these symptoms and effects can be treated. Uh, treatments can include, you know, medications, surgeries, uh, physical or occupational therapy, um, speech, and mental health therapy. Uh, two, there's social work, you know, and education, you know, to provide assistance for both you and the person with CP, your loved ones. You know, everybody can do a group thing. Uh, you know, having loved ones who support you, even literally understand you, is very helpful too. Uh, what comes to mind is that episode I did, you know, the sympathy versus empathy, right? Um, the outlook for CP can vary depending on its severity. Some causes of CP include, you know, medical problems or infection during pregnancy, a stroke in the womb during or after birth, um, which is how my spouse was injured. Also, untreated jaundice uh, or genetic disorders can create CP. Uh, premature babies born less than 37 weeks and babies weighing less than 5 pounds are at uh, more of a risk, you know, but uh, so spouse CP uh, occurred during delivery, similar to like shoulder dysplasia, um, but obviously, you know, more severe because it was a shift literally in the skull affecting the brain. My second oldest brother, too, Ryan, got it just after birth. He was a preemie in the NICU, and they put an IV directly on his head, and it burned him, damaging his brain. Also, um, I know multiple births of babies are at a higher risk, even if they're full term, like twins or triplets, you know. Now, the symptoms of CP um, appear during infancy or preschool years um, vary from mild to serious. There is no set definite life expectancy um, just because a child has CP. Um, you know, mild or moderate having, they are expected to live the same full lifespan as the general population, you know. Now remember, uh, TBI is the direct link today, right? Traumatic brain injury can and does affect children accidentally even as a result of an injury, right? Kids are just what they um, are, you know, and they play and they get hurt, um, as you know. After years of research, I actually find it easier to spot correlation that premature babies um, with or without disability are more even accident prone uh, too. Myself, her father, and Whittle have certainly showed that over the years. One specific of Whittle actually was when she had a very mild incident uh, years ago, falling off her chair at dinner, hitting her head even. She scared me. Um, because she virtually was showing me initially signs almost as if she had a concussion. Um, I, I was a little worried when I saw like a delayed reaction in her and even like a roll of the eyes. But uh, she didn't vomit and then closely monitoring her, of course, she then became fine. Uh, it just took her some extra time uh, to recover. Then, uh, you know, maybe an otherwise uh, or otherwise, excuse me, a full-term child, you know, would respond to a fall like that. Thankfully, no lasting effects. Um, but accidents are the more intentional of infliction, like abuse, um, also is, is certainly a possibility, which is really sad. Sorry, it's even hard for me to say. Um, and it can cause traumatic, um, you know, injuries to the brain of a child. You know, shaken baby syndrome, I'm sure you heard of. Those babies have very weak, um, ne all babies, excuse me, neck muscles that can, uh, they can't fully support that proportionally, like, big head, right, initially, you know. Uh, so not supporting their head adequately when, you know, holding them or leaving them unattended on, like, the surface of a bed. And then they roll off, for instance, or violently shaking them, uh, usually out of frustration, wanting them to stop crying, can inflict serious TBI. Uh, as well. Severe shaking causes the baby's head to move violently back and forth, resulting in serious and sometimes fatal even uh, brain injury, right? These forces are exaggerated if the shaking interrupted um, by the baby's head hitting a surface. Obviously, you know, children growing up um, have falls, have accidents, 
and then you know even us adults later can have incidents that involve head injuries depending on the impact um, besides trauma um, whether they're going to live or suffer death um, actor Gary Coleman I'm sure you heard of had some likely disabilities included with his very short stature uh, that he was in fact famous for but as a result of his his head injury later compounding that caused by a fall he suffered a brain hemorrhage and died after being taken off of life support many people though can suffer even multiple head injuries and be able to live and even thrive you know after Wow, I got to tell you, me having a platform and sharing this with you is opening my eyes to the reality right now that God had a real purpose for me because I actually have had uh, multiple head injuries. But thankfully, um, I'm here, right? I never knew um, till right now why uh, or how, really, because they were pretty bad, actually. Uh, but to be able to now speak on it, you know, learn, share, and above all, have empathy, you know, for all about it, too. You know, the first one I had um, when I was 11, um, I was at camp in the mountains and had a bad fall hitting my head. Uh, they said I must have been dehydrated is why I fell in the shower, you know, lights out. Uh, Because I hit my head, I believe it was the faucet. So I was life flighted. Funny that there's noise in the background of a plane. But it was a helicopter that life flighted me out of the mountains, you know, to the roof of Sharp Memorial Hospital. um, And was told uh, to my mother, uh, concussion. um, In fact, when my mother was told, when she arrived, it began one of the many calls to CPS, Uh, because as she approached me in the intensive care unit, she began to yell at me because I didn't remember who I was, who she was, uh, what happened, or where I was. Um, And the doctor came in and threw her out because I wasn't faking it. Um, But anyway, uh, so the doctor, after doing that, um, I, I found out later Uh, epilepsy is my point also from that point um, I was found to have which is a seizure disorder when only um, active though over time it became normalized unless of course I hit my head in that soft spot that remained you know where I had the impact so then when I was 18 I was switching off with my then husband driving across country with only Tatiana, who was about two years old at the time. She was in the back seat in our car seat. But we hydroplaned because it was raining when we crossed uh, Texas state line, you know, and we hit the median head on and my face smashed the steering wheel because I sit so close to it, you know, because I'm short. I knocked out three teeth uh, and well, another concussion Uh, My ex-spouse also had a concussion because he hit the passenger window, breaking it. And Tatiana only got like a small scrape to her face because of the flying glass. So thank God uh, for military and teaching hospital, right? Though, since he was in the service, uh, they took good care of me. I underwent facial reconstruction and uh, several dental implant surgeries. And um, I'm grateful because they certainly saved my smile just as they promised. So many years later, uh, let me do the math. About 20 years later, I was in a corporate meeting, you know, all of us general managers in the area. I bent down quick, I think, to reach in my purse for a pen that was on the floor beside me while sitting at a table and nailed literally the corner of the adjacent table perfectly. Um you know, in the center of my forehead and lights out. Woke up in the hospital with a bleeding face. I was told at some point, subdermal hematoma and concussion. Uh, Nobody could argue what happened to me that was present. Everybody saw it. I just had to keep being told about even what happened and remember what I can, right? Uh, But this resulted ultimately in a career change eventually and I am told a blessing in disguise 
I am beginning to see that now. Um, in fact, yesterday I had told him, Father, I need to make it by the time I'm 48 years old. I have a basketball team to support. And what did he say? Uh, he said, okay, but there's one thing I want you to understand with this business that me and you have started, that you need, the, the commonality of all of it is that everything you need to in the kitchen or, you know, for your business, you get from outside. Everything is sourced outside. You bring it in and then you create it, right? I went, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Take everyone with me too to let them know. But uh, so uh, I hope this information was helpful and that you have a great day and talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye.